This emerald bug might look like a piece of fine jewelry, but take my word for it, you don't want this wasp anywhere near you, even if it would make a beautiful accessory. This wasp can control the mind of its victim. Meet the jewel wasp, known for their ability to hypnotize their prey. They specifically target cockroaches. It would be cool if the jewel wasp could harness telekinesis, but they do need to sting their prey to activate their mind control powers. First, the female wasp injects the cockroach with venom that paralyzes its legs. The cockroach will not go down without a fight. They'll kick and strike their opponent's head, and if they're strong enough, they might kill the wasp before she can administer another sting. But if the wasp wins this wrestling match, its second sting goes straight for the brain. With their stinger, they rummage around in the cockroach's head so they can accurately inject the brain. Ugh, that just gave me chills. The venom messes with the cockroach's neurotransmitters. They're not completely knocked out. They're just unable to react to their surroundings and make decisions for themselves. In this zombie state, the jewel wasp takes full advantage of them. They chew off their antennae and drink their nutrient-rich hemolymph, which is like the insect version of blood. They really know how to kick their victim when it's down, because if all that isn't enough, the wasp will pull the cockroach to her den like a dog on a leash. How humiliating. Luckily, the cockroach isn't conscious enough to be embarrassed. Scientists theorize that jewel wasps' venom has evolved to perform this specific function because they aren't physically equipped to carry the cockroach back home. So, they had to become nature's master manipulators instead. In the den, the wasp lays her eggs on their prey where they take about three days to hatch. And I'll remind you, the cockroach is still alive for all of this. What a nightmare. The worst is yet to come. When the larvae hatch, they eat the cockroach from the inside out. Internal organs, abdomen, they all make for a delicious first meal. This is what finally puts the cockroach out of its misery. I never in my life thought I would feel this sorry for a cockroach. You might look at your apartment pests a little differently now. From the manipulative mind control to the blood drinking, this whole process is horrific. You could say jewel wasps are sadists and monsters, but you could never say that they aren't thrifty because jewel wasps don't give cockroaches a traditional funeral. As they enter their pupil stage, the larvae huddle inside the carcass and use it to protect their cocoon. Every part of the cockroach kill serves a purpose. I guess it's nice that they don't die in vain, sort of sweet, in a messed up way. When the baby wasps are ready to enter the world, they bust through the cockroach shell, alien style, and the cycle repeats all over again. If any cockroaches are watching this video, stay alert out there. There are tons of wasps that have a similar strategy, and you can meet them in this video about voodoo wasps. Great minds think alike, I guess. Injecting cockroaches with zombifying venom and then using their bodies as nests for larvae is what jewel wasps do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.